Hi there, my name is Jacob and I'm an environment artist for Quixel here at Epic Games. Today I am particularly excited to introduce you to and talk with you about our latest project 90 Days. If you haven't already, now is the perfect time to watch the full release. The link in the description will take you right to it. This is the first video of a small series of accompanying tutorials in which we'll go over our process of creating 90 days in Unreal Engine 5. We heard your requests for more step-by-step -step guides, so we've made sure to cover small but powerful workflow snippets from the perspective of an environment artist in an easy-to-digest way in the following videos. This will include covering how we tackled lighting our scenes, working with the new modeling tools in interesting ways to create various high fidelity assets, adding interest with sequencer powered animations and more tips and tricks on leveraging the new features of the Unreal Engine ecosystem to its full potential. We'll also be hosting a live stream in which we'll have the opportunity to talk about 90 days and the environments created for it in a larger scope answering your questions as we go. However, for now, let's start with a bird's eye view on 90 days, an overview of why, what and how. To begin with, all of our projects always serve multiple purposes. Sure, final pixels are great, but they do a lot more for us internally too. They allow us to identify bottlenecks, find possible content shortages, inspire discussions about new approaches and possibilities to create, and generally help us move forward in our goal to make art easy. While working on previous projects, we as a team were beyond impressed and inspired by the ease of use that flagship features like Nanite and Lumen suddenly brought to an already solid ecosystem of tools. With an even better integration of Megascan's assets along with many other incredible content additions, we felt that it was time to really test how truly flexible and creatively enabling Unreal Engine 5 has become, and why it is such a big deal for everyone, starting at the individual artists up to various types of productions across different industries. So, we set out to see how many different types of environments a small team of artists could create in 90 days in this ecosystem. The result? Staggering 42 distinctively unique environments, each created by a single environment artist from blockout to final pixel within the time span of roughly three days. Of course, a few environments did take longer as we were discovering new workflow opportunities that we wanted to pursue further, a few of which we'll dive into in this series. In order to really test the creative freedom we'd get out of Unreal Engine 5, we did not work from nicely curated and agreed upon concept pieces. Instead, each environment to be made was represented only by a few simple words. We were working with creative spitballing. It was upon us artists to experiment and create something based on these prompts, and mind you, we are not concept artists, and we were truly blown away by the creative agility possible with Unreal Engine 5. 90 Days was not about creating a demo reel, it was about testing and ultimately proving the coming of age of an ecosystem in illustration of what now has become possible. Never before has turning an idea into unique 3D environments felt so straightforward, so streamlined. We were discovering new toys to play with and we were loving it. For almost all of our shots, we did not leave the engine once. This project has been a testament for the absolute creativity the synergy of tools enables you to bring to the table. It has opened our eyes to the fact that Unreal Engine has become a tool for many applications. Suddenly it's not just for games or cinematics, it's a tool for concepting, for visual exploration and fast iteration. It is for beautiful final pixels and interactive ones. It is for game creators and cinematographers, visual artists and designers, storytellers and explorers. It's for everybody who wants to be creative. 
It allows you to be and do all of that in a singular, powerful ecosystem. With that said, we are very much looking forward to sharing what we've learned with you in a practical approach over the following videos, hopefully inspiring you to go out and make awesome stuff. Now, thank you so much for watching. I hope we've piqued your interest and, as always, I can't wait to see you in the next one.